And uh, M. Nase is a very um, important character as well in the career of the Alley Cats. His sons have this band called Pita Hati, which, uh, which is playing it at uh, Rockaway. I mean, the, the group, I never heard them perform, but to what I know, they are more a uh, poetic kind of a uh, band, more following the father's footsteps, I think. And I'm not saying he's a, he's a politician, I would say, and a good artist. And he gets all these ideas by just sit, sitting down and... I mean, I love the way he writes the lyrics when we have to deliver. So we have to be very careful of how we deliver, because his lyrics are very deep, very meaningful. So we'll ask him to help us out and explain what this meaning is all about before we go into the studio. Like, even when we were in Hong Kong, he will come down to Hong Kong. He wrote and his friends, like A. Ali, Amin Shahab, there were, they were three of them in a group called Gambara. So all these three of them are very talented people, very poetic people. So all the three of them has uh, written a lot of songs for us. Yeah, and they are very, very good. Arumugam was actually a Malaysian goalkeeper, a very famous Malaysian yes. goalkeeper. Yes. When I was new in this market at that time, our goalkeeper Arumugam was very popular at that time. So when, when I told the record company that my real name is Tiaga Rajan, they said it's very difficult to remember, so why don't you put this David Arumugam, follow the goalkeeper. But so happened that Arumugam is my father's name. David was my stage name, it was given to me by one uh, British couple because they couldn't pronounce my real name. So they said, oh, we we'll could just call you David. I said, okay, you know, that's how I got the name David. Then Arumugam was uh, because of my father's name and also our goalkeeper. So when they put that David Arumugam, it became uh, easy to remember and also simple. And for me, I, I felt my father's name was there. So I just st stuck to it. So like when I go to any uh, business or office or what and put my IC there and say, who's this? Tiaga Raja, I said, that's me. <laughs> so that's when they know my real name. Yeah. Alley Cats represents this golden age in Malaysia. When you turn on the news, when you turn on the local news, you see a lot of weird things happening in Malaysia that did not, might not have happened before in the past. Um, do you have any comments or any thoughts on what's going on in Malaysia today and what we could do to sort of revive some of that good good old times? I mean like uh, for me like those days were like those golden years. I mean you can see one row of houses, all the door is wide open and you can run into anybody's house any time of the day. A lot of things have happened like uh, because of technology also. Like, like during our times, we are mostly all outdoor kids. We play outdoors mostly, climb on trees, you know, make our own toys, and we go to the beach a lot. And no, we don't have. Sometimes the neighbors also won't have a phone in the house, so we have to. We have to run about maybe a mile to call them, hey, somebody calling you. So they have to come to the house, to take the, they'll give our house phone number to their family, you know. So when they call, so we have to run about a mile to call them, say, hey, somebody's calling you, you know, the and they have to come. I've seen with my own eyes, father, mother, son, daughter, all four with their four handphones, and just praying, you know, not talking to each other. Like those days, no. Those days, it's a family get together. It's a real family get together. Everybody talks. How is your trip here and there? You know, a lot of things happening and a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You seem to be in great shape. Uh, you are about sixty-six. Music keeps you young all the time. You, you don't think of age. You don't think of all those things. You entertain so many people. Bottom line, you come back and say, "Wow, yes, that's nice." Have you written any songs or any material that we ha we don't know about? Uh, myself, I'll, I find it difficult to write because we tend to copy other materials, so I never. But my boys have, not me. 
Because for me, when I think of a song, I start down, na 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 na, and something comes up from the Beatles inside my brain. So I totally give up writing songs, and I just perform and sing what people write. Because my job is just to go in and sing. So what the if the younger if they have younger writers who wrote the song, of course it will be the more the latest kind of things. You see, they they cannot go back and think of what we did 40 years ago. Let's say if you were stranded on a on a desert island and and you had to have one and, and you could only have one Alley Cat album to bring along with you, which one would it be? Uh, difficult. I mean, there's one album called Drama Kehidupan. That album, maybe I'll get that album with me. Because that one got a story, like a storyline, where you can sit down and listen it over and over again. And at the same time, you can uh, document in your mind that it is a play. You can make it into a play. So if you're lost in an island, I suggest I'll take that album with me. So who knows when I'm, they found me, I'll come back and do a big concert with that album. <laughs> Another uh, young fan, she said, when we are at home, my father puts on Alicat song, and if we don't listen, he asks us to stand in the corner. <laughs> Punishment. This coming rock, rock away, um, Ali Katz is going to show the younger bands what it means to rock, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we will do, we will do some rock, but I'm, I'm sure they can ex accept that kind of rock. They can, they can. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. Or else we'll make them stand in a corner. <laughs> May you guys continue to make music and continue to make Malaysia proud. Hey, yo! See you in Rockaway, okay? 19. Thank you. Makasay! Whoops! Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Dato. It's a pleasure.